Hi there students. So this is our second class uh, and we are going to continue with our first chapter that is hardware components of the computer. Now last class we discussed about how computer functions. So computer basically works on three steps input, process and output. Now this is done using different devices right which we call as a hardware components. They are the external and the internal parts which we can see, which we can touch. So input devices okay, helps us to take the input. So whatever data we have to give to the computer, it is given through the input devices. And last class we also discussed various input devices like keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, etc. Once the data is given to the computer, computer processes it. For that also it need, needs uh, hardware devices and then it gives us the output. So today's lesson we are going to focus on different output devices. We have already discussed different input devices in our last video. This video we will see different output devices. Now before we start with output devices, let's check how many input devices you know. In case if you have not seen the video, the previous video on input devices, please go and check the video. Because here I will ask you a few questions. You have to answer them before I give you the answer. So let's start. Alright, so I, you have to identify the device which is being used in the different situations which are given below. So the first one, Sarah is scanning the document to avoid typing. So which device is she using here? Answer is scanner. Second question. Ananya is waiting for the bank to clear her check. So which device probably is used to do that? Answer is MICR. Third question. Raman is an architect and he is printing maps of building. Answer is he is using plotter. Next one. John is at the bill counter and is scanning the products to prepare the bill. Which device is he using? Answer is barcode reader. I hope you have answered the questions before I gave you the answer. So let's continue with our presentation that on output devices. What are output devices? Now devices which are used to show you the output is called as an output device. So what is an output? When you ask computer something and when the computer processes it to give you the result that is an output. So the device which is used to show you that result is called as output device. Now there are some of the commonly used output devices which we are going to discuss in this lesson. Some of them are very common and we all use them. We all know them. So let's start. Most commonly used output device is the monitor. Right now you can see this video on your monitor. In our day to day life we cannot do without a monitor. It is used to take, display the text, the images, videos etc. Now monitor is also called as visual display unit. The picture on a monitor is made up of thousands of tiny colored dots called as pixels or picture elements. The quality and the detail of the picture depends on the number of the pixels that the monitor can display. 
which means the higher number of pixels you have, the better is the quality of your output. Now, there are three kinds of technologies which are used for monitor. These are the common ones. So, we have the first one, cathode ray tube monitor, that is CRT monitor. There is LCD monitor, liquid crystal display monitor, and LED monitor, light emitting diode monitor. CRT monitors were pretty bulky compared to the monitors which we use nowadays. They also produced a lot of heat and nowadays of course they are not available in the market anymore. So you open the monitor and this is how it looks. This is how the different devices are placed inside the CRT monitor which makes it very bulky, heavy. LCD monitors, that is liquid crystal display monitors. These monitors are light in weight. Also, they produce less heat and they have a better picture quality than the CRT monitors. They are also reliable com uh, if you compare them to CRT monitors. Then you have LED monitors. Now, LED monitors are the latest type of monitors in the market today. LED monitors, they have advantages uh, like they produce images which are with higher contrast, uh, even better than the LCD monitors. And they produce less heat and they have a very thin design and are environment friendly. They use less energy also. Our next output device is a printer. This is again another commonly used output device. A printer is used to print information that you see on a monitor to a paper. That means on a monitor, whatever you see, we, we call it as a soft copy. And when you have it on the paper, we call it as a hard copy. So basically printer makes a soft copy to hard copy. So printers may vary in size, speed, cost and quality of printing. There are two kinds of printers. We have an impact printer and non-impact printer. Impact printers. Now in impact printers, a print head runs back and forth or in an up and down motion on the page. They print characters by striking pins against an ink ribbon. A mechanical contact is required between the print head and the paper. They are pretty slow, noisy and are not used for high quality printing. Now, example of this kind of printers are dot matrix printers, or daisy wheel printers and line printers. Now these kind of printers are uh, hardly used nowadays because they are very slow and we have definitely nowadays better printers available in the market which are faster and uh, cheaper and the print quality is also much better than these kind of printers. non-impact printers. These printers do not use a striking device to produce characters on the paper and they don't have a contact between the print head and the paper. So obviously these printers produce less noise and they have a they print in a better quality with greater speed. So there are basically two kinds of non-impact printers. One is inkjet printer and another is a laser printers. Now inkjet printers have been popular for a long time because they are relatively inexpensive and 
they are ideal for use at home where only few document need, needs to be printed compared to that laser printers are fast and they produce produce printouts of good quality headphones or speakers gives out the output of audio format it gives out the uh, sound signals now headphones are small speakers that can be worn in or around your ears traditional headphones have two ear cups attached by a band that is placed over your head smaller headphones often called as earbuds or earphones are placed inside the outer part of your ear canal Next output device we have is a plotter. Now plotters are a special type of printers which are able to draw high quality images. Now these kind of printers are used by engineers or architects or map makers to draw plans of buildings or diagrams of machines or large scale maps. Now a plot plotter interprets commands from a computer to make line drawings. on paper with one or more automated pens next is a lcd projector now i am sure you all must have seen this uh, when you go in the auditorium and when the slides are projected on a bigger a uh, screen uh, we definitely use lcd projectors for that Now LCD stands for liquid crystal display as you know the LCD projectors are used for displaying videos or images or computer data uh, in your laptop or desktop PC monitor on the bigger screen or other flat surface now LCD projectors are widely being used in schools and offices for presentation after output devices let's see the different storage devices which we use in our day to day lives now as we all know once our data is processed we need to store it in the computer memory now if you look at this diagram it shows that computer memory is basically divided into two there are two kinds of memories you have a primary memory which is called as also called as a main memory and it is situated inside the cpu and there is a secondary memory which we are using which has mostly the external devices it's like a external memory which we are using so let's discuss this external memory secondary memory is also called as a auxiliary memory or external memory or backup memory now it is used for bulk storage of programs data and other information it has much larger capacity than the primary memory and secondary memory is non volatile which means it is permanent so it is used for permanent storage of data some commonly used devices for secondary storage uh, which we also called as secondary storage devices are first one hard disk now hard disk is the main secondary storage device within a computer it has it can store several gigabytes and terabytes of data and is used for storing application and files for user nowadays even external hard disks are available in the market that can be plugged into your computer through usb ports this lets you take files with you transfer them to the other computers or instantly add storage to your computer or network without any technical hurdles
compact disc or CDs are also known as an optical storage device. Now, these uh, CDs are available in two kinds. There is uh, one is CDR that is recordable. That is, uh, you record once and you cannot record again. Whereas CDRW, you can rewrite on the CD more than once. Now, just like compact disc, you ha also have DVDs, that is digital versatile disc. Now, this is almost similar to CD, the kind of, uh, the, the way data is stored, it's the same way like CD, but uh, DVDs are, have more capacity to store data compared to CD. Of course, nowadays, these CDs and DVDs are less commonly used as uh, they get spoiled with the moisture and they also have limited capacity. A pen drive or a flash drive is a storage device that is a very small in size and it can be carried easily anywhere. It is a USB device that can be used to quickly transfer your audios or videos or data files from the hard drive or of one computer to the other computer. Now, pen drive uses flash memory. So flash memory basically is a technology that allows data to be electrically stored, erased and reprogrammed. Next, we have memory card. Now, memory card is also small in size and can be it can store data in a digital format. It is used in various electronic devices like mobile phones, digital cameras, MP3 players, and many more portable devices. So these were different output devices. Now our next lesson will be on the internal hardware of computer.